so today's video i'm going to explain about how the capacitor bank is going to improve the transmission efficiency of the line or improving the voltage regulation of a transmission line here you can see a single line diagram of utility here and it is connected to the load with a long transmission line load is most often in uh, the reactive power it draws a lot of reactive power it is uh, inductive inductive highly inductive nature and utility is supposed to bear all the active and reactive power support to the load it need to support real power and reactive powers so because of the line carrying the the huge amount of reactive power the line regulation gradually decreases over the length of the transmission line and here you can see the waveform of voltage and current as long as the load inductive increases yeah, the angle shift between voltage and current increases and also it reduces the, the power factor of the system so what else we can do to improve this uh, the transmission efficiency by connecting a capacitor close to the load center so here i am connecting a capacitor bank the close to the load center this capacitor bank will provide the, the sufficient reactive power support to the load so the utility is relieved from the discharging the requisite amount of reactive power to the load so this will increase the, the line performance of the transmission line i'm going to explain this uh, using waveforms how by increasing by changing the the capacitance of uh, this bank how we can improve the the power factor of the system let's see here let us consider a voltage uh, uh, sin x and current the sin x minus pi by 3 there is a pi by 3 the shift with respect to the voltage and now i am going to add a capacitor bank here i of c so capacitor current is always sin x plus pi by 2 so this the the green waveform represents the capacitor current and uh, the blue one is uh, the load current and uh, the red one is the voltage now the total current is let us take this capital i is equal to small i plus capacitor current Now see this one, this is the, this one is the voltage and uh, this one is the total current. Suppose initially the capacitor current is zero. This was the phase difference between voltage and current. I'm gradually increasing the capacitor here and, and you can see that the phase angle is slowly changing. Point 0.4 again capacitor current I'm slowly increased 0.5 point 0.6 point 0.7 point 0.8 point 0.9 so it is somewhere around 0.85 is 0.86 yes so at this point you can see that clearly that the the load current is in phase with the voltage that means the power factor of the system is improved and the reactive current the required by the load is separated by the capacitor band this is the this much quantity of current is separated by the capacitor so this clearly explains how a capacitor can be used a capacitor band can be used to improve the line performance of the transmission line so this is the case where there is no capacitor so this is the the phase angle difference between voltage and current when there is no capacitor when I added capacitor here and perfectly tuned with uh, the load 
at this point we can see that voltage and current in phase thank you for watching this video thank you so much